you quantify life itself, the way this project was mine? How do you measure that which crept its way into every minute of godforsaken free time? Every nook and cranny of your brain that was once tucked away for other pursuits of knowledge, that required typing, debugging, thinking, stressing, reading questions of hundreds of other students and competing for the limited resource of simply getting a proper answer. And so much speaking in lab, discussion, lecture, other lectures and other discussions, passing chats, cafe dates, and casual conversation with classmates struggling, others who heard the rumors and those who just wanted to know why you're so busy all the time, that you were practically breathing CS from dawn till dusk and even beyond where I solved that row constructor in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I would say that it's not an uncommon experience to have a situation where you, you solve part of a problem that you're interested in while you're sleeping. <laughs> to make this for taller people a little more comfortable, but I won't. All right. So one of the funny things that comes out of this very intense experience is this uh, kind of cult figure uh, situation where, for example, Paul Helfinger, as we've alluded to with his difficult classes, uh, he's, he's a beloved man who Ross has made t-shirts of, for example. Yeah, uh, yeah, and so, you know, here's a drawing of Paul here, <laughs> questioning whether you not might be tired of Java. Uh, all right. Uh, also, there's a funny situation where when a project's really hard, in the basement, the whiteboards start getting filled with art thematically related to the project. So if you can't quite see this, many of you, uh, it's all about our GitLab project, which is, uh, is this from the fall or from the spring? Summer. Ah, okay, the summer course, even more intense. So here's someone fleeing the, the earth of where they produced Git. They're ascending into the heavens, goodbye Git. Uh, so everybody's been thinking very deeply about it, especially in the summer with our double time classes. Uh, so, to give you a sense of what you'll actually be doing, let's have uh, some 61A folks give a demo of the kind of things you'll build in that class, and then we'll do some 61B demos. And I'll mess with the microphone. This is a brand new project again, introduced this semester. Um, this is the final project of 61B. So you're in week 12, uh, you've gotten an excellent grasp on Java through the editor project, and uh, also gotten an excellent grasp on data structures, and so now this is your chance to put them all to the test. Uh, and create a map simulator. So here we have uh, a map of Berkeley um, because we love doing projects about maps, I guess. Um, but in, in this project, um, you'll see that I can uh, scroll around the map um, and the map will reload uh, different parts of it uh, depending on what needs to be rendered to the screen. Uh, I can also zoom in. Oh, cool, it's fast in this computer. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I can uh, move around this map um, and all of these images uh, in the map, there's a bunch of uh, thousands and thousands of little tiles that make up the map at different zooms. Um, and so in this project, you have to figure out based on where uh, the user has dragged the map and at what resolution they're viewing it, uh, what actually needs to get drawn to the screen in order to make it work. Uh, and so uh, after you've built that map, uh, and you can visualize it here, we can also perform routing on the map as well. So let's say that uh, I've been working very hard up at the Berkeley Labs, uh, and I want to be able to come down to campus and grab a nice bite to eat. Uh, so let's say we want to visit uh, good old McDonald's. So uh, we'll find McDonald's, and now a point appears on the map, and I can click here, uh, and you'll see that Bear Maps has computed uh, the fastest route coming down from the labs uh, to get to McDonald's. And so, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, yes, and after, uh, so once you have finished this project, um, you can run it locally as a page, or in addition, you also have the opportunity uh, to deploy it uh, to an actual website with a service like Heroku. So that's Bear Maps. All right. Uh, okay, data 8 full. 